churches, and I later on learned that Sunnis, Wahhabis, Salafis, don't like when you question. Toe the line, says what it says, don't worry about it, don't think. Just bow your head, bow your head, take the, take the holy water. Like, and as as a, I got my bachelor's degree in history, so as a as a pseudo historian, I need the primary sources, I need the secondary sources. I, I got to read it. What, what context? What was was this revealed or was it written? I was homeless twice, also in, in my early twenties, and there was a the second second to last time I was homeless, I was walking to a bakery in Ridgewood. Just it was like twelve thirty, one o'clock in the morning, so you know they bake the breads for the for the following day. I would ask for like some rolls and some you know loaves, and I was just walking there. I'm like, yeah, God, if you get me out of this situation. I will worship you however you want me to. However, however you want me to. So I did that dua. I didn't know it was a dua, but I supplicated to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The very next day, I walked from my old my old neighborhood to uh, City Field in, in uh, Elmhurst with the, with the New York Mets play. And after that was uh, flushing, and there was a school that said earn your GED and get an associate's degree at the same time. And I was a high school dropout. I dropped out in twelfth grade. And so I was like, I need a GED. An associate's would be nice. So I went in, took the exam. I, I passed. So I, and then the next day, I got a job at a, a supermarket. And then one of my friends needed a job, so the parents came to me. He's like, "Can you get my son a job?" I was like, "I need a place to live. Oh, we'll, we'll rent you a room. Just get him, get my son a job." I got him the job, and like literally, like seventy-two hours, seventy-two hours. I had a job. I was in school, and I had a place. And I was like, "Okay, so how do you want me to worship you?" So when I was going for my associates, some uh, very good friends of mine from Bangladesh, I met, and uh, it was funny because actually, backtrack. The night before, I was with my friend Chris. And he was like, yo, you know Muslim women don't shave their legs? I was like, one, that's not my business. And two, I don't believe you. So I, the, the brothers from Bangladesh, I was like, do you women shave their legs? He's like, one, that's rude. And two, like, you know, we just started talking about Islam. And I was like, so what about Jesus? Like, oh, we believe in the virgin birth. Die for our sins? No, okay, okay. And so they handed me the Quran. And uh, for like the next three, four months, I had the Quran and the Bible just cross-referencing, cross-referencing. And I was like, Islam, Tawheed, oneness of God. Jesus is a prophet of Islam. He didn't die for the sins of the world. Like this is this is this is what I believe already. This is in my nafs. So it, like it's and wallahi, I wish I was making this up. I wish I was making all of this up because it just happened too fast, too fast, too fast. And I was just so and then January two thousand six, I went to the Jamaica Muslim Center (JMC) with uh, Imam Shamsi Ali. I took my shahada. I was one of like three other people, and I took my shahada. Oh, Salam alaikum, welcome to Islam. Like you know, I didn't get a prayer rug. I didn't get. I didn't get. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. Oh, welcome to Islam. You're, you're a brand new baby now. All your sins before that. I didn't know which direction was Mecca. I didn't know how to pray. And like, the, the follow-up was so poor. They even whipped my shahada. I was still eating bacon. I was drinking beer, smoking pot. Like, I, I didn't know. I got tattooed. I didn't know what was halal haram makroon, you know? So, from like 06, maybe until like, man, it's like a good five, six years I was in Islam. In Islam, but not even, I was a Muslim by name. And I dropped the pork. That was easy. Uh, you know, eventually it started coming together because but even now you know uh, you know even now the the dua I made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm, st I'm still I'm still not doing my end and he's still doing his end for me like I'm in London on Alhubi TV like come on I, I, sh I, I know way more people who deserve to be in the seat right now I, I knew that I knew there was rules but I didn't know what were the rules and see in Queens a lot of the masjids are like like for instance there's a big South Asian community Bangladesh Pakistan and so their masjids are basically like club meds for like people from Dhaka, people from Islamabad, like the Kutbas are in Urdu or Bangla. So I would just sit there and I'm the only white guy. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm getting credit for this because I'm here, you know, my, my name's written down with the angels. But it's, you know, there's no follow-up, man, no follow-up, no follow-up. And, you know, it, it's, it sucks, you know, because then when I started learning, I did the same thing that I did in the church. I'm like, yeah, Imam, or... Yeah, Imam, like, you know, the 12 caliphs, who, 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 who this hadith says there'll be 12 caliphs after me, all from Quraysh. Who, who are the 12? Uh, 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 the, 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 oh, but this guy down the street can name me 12 like that. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't listen to them, you know, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Muawiyah, Yazid, da, da, da. I'm like, okay, sure. And, you know, you know, it's funny though, well, when I took my shahada, I, I asked about the Shia. I was like, who are the Shia? Don't worry about them, just avoid them, da, da, da. You know, it's, it's, it's in their Akita to lie. You know, they do talking all the time. And I was like, whatever, fine. So I left the Shia thing alone. Come two and a half years ago, I was sitting in uh, my old, I don't even want to say it in mine, but I was in, I was in uh, Masjid Taqwa in, in bed Brooklyn. And I was, I was waiting for uh, the Adana to come in. And one of the, I wouldn't even say Molana, that's giving, giving the man too much credit. There was somebody in there like just going off on his other brother because he had a Shia roommate. 
He was like, yo, you, they're Catholics, you can't be rooming with him, don't eat his meat, it's not halal, da 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 You know, they, they turn off the lights and, and with the women, muta, da 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 And as, as he's going off, they, they worship Ali, alayhi salam, astaghfirullah, like all these things he's rattling off, I'm like, there is no way in high heaven people actually believe that. There's no, there's no way that somebody's Akira. No way. And so what I did was, I went, not really, basically down the street, so Masjid al Bayt, Islamic Guidance Center, in the uh, Atlantic Avenue, by the Barclay Center. And I just, I embedded myself at the Shia Masjid for two weeks. Question after question after question after question. I was there for like hours, for two weeks straight. And then they gave me books and I read it. And so I read, then I was guided. And the, the way Dr. Chijani went about it, how he would only take hadith that both sides agree on, and of course the Quran. So I was like, you know, that sounds, that sounds pretty foolproof. So I did it. And I, I would just, even before I accepted Shia Islam, I would, I would be defending the Shia. Like there was a Yemeni deli, I used to, uh, they used to support my dawah. So they had like pamphlets and they gave out all the Qurans. And so I was like, I was like, nah, man, that's not true. Oh, but I'm from Yemen. I know the Houthis. Okay. But this is, this is, this is their beliefs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they have, we have, they have a hadith where Imam Aliyah, alayhi salam, hemmed up a tent and set it on fire for somebody saying he was God, astaghfirullah. You know? So it's, I was like, nah, they're like, yo, you better calm down, Harun. You better, I want to think you're a Shia. I was like, whatever, man. And the classic, oh, uh, Gabriel made a mistake. Gabriel, I was like, nah, man, it's Allahu Akbar three times, man. That's because of the, the conquest of Mecca. No, 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 man, I'm telling you. They prayed towards Karbala. And that was actually the first question when I got to Masjid al-Bayt. I was like, what direction, what, what city is that? The Kaaba, or Mecca. Isn't that it's not Karbala? No, well, where do you, come on. Our Qibla is the Qibla. And it, was, it just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. So Dr. Jijani, Sayyid Amar, Nakashwani, I'm jacking up his name. But, uh, and Masjid al uh, TV, like, I would just, like, you guys have, like, this intense, like, archive. So I would just be everywhere and nowhere. Like, well, I, and I knew, I knew it was right, but I was still in Takia, you know, Takia. And eventually I was just like, you know what? Forget it, man. Because this Shia in Pakistan, this Shia in Bahrain, the Shia in Iraq, who, who are getting killed. And they're openly, they're openly Shia. And I'm here in the United States. So what, what do I got to lose? What do I got to lose? Friends? They're not really my friends. My brothers and Dean? They're not my brothers and Dean. If they're going to cut me off like that. So, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm a Shia. And then, then everybody just started falling off. And uh, this one brother was like, man, you know, I love the Yahoo bait, but I won't worship them. And it, it, was, it was actually around the time of Ashura. And so I was like, okay, wh what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing on Ashura? I'm going to fast, Habibi. I'm going to fast. When did Imam Hussein alayhi salam die? Uh, uh, the, the Ashura? No, yeah. How come you never heard about it on the mimbar? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And he kept it at that. It's, it, it's insane. It's insane. Like, yeah. It's crazy. See, it, it's, it's twofold. One, when they give you the reason behind fasting on Ashura, it doesn't make any sense. If the Prophet Muhammad came with, with the correct deen, why is he pulling from Beni Israel? Oh, they fast? I have a greater right to Moses. We're going to fast. What? No, nah, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And even, even if you go take it one step further, there are some Sunnis who say the fast on Ashura was negated by the fast in Ramadan. When, it, when, the, when, the, when the command came down to fast the 30 days of Ramadan, Forget that. Forget that short fast. So, like, even then, they're, they're buttonheads with their own with their own doctrine. But uh, it's sad. It, it's really sad, you know. Yeah. But uh, when, I, when I found out about Imam Hussein al Islam, like, it's like, well, come on, this is the, the last grandson of the last prophet is killed. Is killed. And then, and then, then you have the audacity to say Yazid radiAllahu an. What? What? Come on now. So wait, if Imam Hussein al Islam is the master of the youth in paradise. And you guys think Yazid's going to Jannah? That's, that's gonna be an awkward meeting. So I'm like Yazid, you know, no hard feeling, you know, it's a dunya. Come on, what? It doesn't make any sense. Come on. And and then like, well, when I found out about like what Aisha did and Hafsa and Umar, I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, and it's in their books. It's in their books. The man ran away like a goat. It's in their books. Come on, man. It's, I'm sorry, but it, it's it, it was it was frustrating for so long, you know. It was, and then one day. I'm in my kitchen. My wife, she had just became Muslim. Oh, she's been Muslim two years now. Alhamdulillah. And so we're in the kitchen one day, and she was like, Henry, what happened to the Prophet's family? Because she, she's like, he dies, and then Islamic history is over. Like, that's how she was being taught. And I was like, that's the million dollar question. Now go do your research. And she, Alhamdulillah, she, she did her research, and now, they were, I, I, didn't, I didn't pass to her, but you know, one day it was like, Asr time. And she goes and grabs a turba and goes to pray. After her, her namaz, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just praying. You just slide in the doors. So, alhamdulillah, you know, she accepted the al